So to start off with my base, I'm using the Dior Air Flash Foundation. I mixed the shades 301 and 302. I just sprayed them onto a palette and then picked them up with my beauty blender and just buffed this into the skin. It gives you such a gorgeous, flawless, airbrushed look. It's absolutely beautiful. One of my favorite foundations ever. And then to conceal the under eyes and just add a little bit of brightness, I'm going to be using the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Custard. I like to put this under my eyes and then right on the bridge of my nose, just like a little stripe of it, um, just to highlight and conceal as well. Um, and then just blend that out with my Beauty Blender so that everything looks nice and soft. And then taking a Laura Mercier Caviar Eyeshadow Stick, I'm going to be applying this champagne shade right in the center of my eyelid just to create a soft little finish that's going to kind of like pop in the center and just make it look really pretty and sheer. Now I'm taking the Eye Caviar eyeshadow stick in the shade Copper and I'm going to be applying this all over the eyelid. Um, I'm trying to keep away from the center and like the inner part of the eyelid just because I want to use this one to add some definition. And I'm also going to be blending this out with a brush just so that I have nice soft lines and nothing looks harsh. Now I'm going in with the Laura Mercier Caviar Stick Eye Color in Burnished Bronze. And I'm going to be using this to make an exaggerated wing but then blending it out with an eyeshadow brush so that it's really soft and not too harsh. Again, we just want this to look really nice and soft with no harsh lines. So to bronze up my skin and add a little bit of color to my complexion, I'm going to be using the NARS Bronzer in Laguna. NARS Bronzers are my absolute favorite. I've told you guys this so many times. I think they just look so gorgeous on your skin and they blend away like a dream so I'm going to be using this just around the perimeter of my face on my cheekbones I'm also going to pull it along my jawline as well for blush I'm going to be using the cult classic NARS orgasm this is a really beautiful pink blush with a gold illumination throughout it so I feel like you don't even need highlighter when you use this blush it makes your skin look so glowy and pretty to fill in my brows, I'm using the Brow Gal by Tanya Crooks. This is her brow pencil, and I'm just going to quickly fill in my brows, give them a little bit more definition and shape, just so that the brows are looking overall more polished. Now, I also really like that this brow pencil has a spoolie on the other end, so you're able to easily brush out the product and make everything look nice and even. And then to set the brows, make sure they stay in place all night. I'm going to be using the Brow Gal by Tanya Crooks Clear Brow Gel. This is waterproof and will just make sure your brows stay in place all night for New Year's Eve. For mascara, I am really just going to pile on the Trish McAvoy High Volume Mascara in Jet Black. This is an amazing mascara. It's got this little tiny brush, but it really lets you get right to the root of the lashes and just make them look so voluminous and long. It's really amazing. I'm just kind of like doing about two or three coats so that I really get that intense volume. You want to pack it on so your eyelashes look like falsies, but you guys can see it does not look clumpy. It's a really voluminous, clean, defined look. So I'm going to be putting this on my top and my bottom lashes as well. Okay, now I'm going to be using just a little bit of lip pencil. This is the Bobbi Brown Cocoa Lip Pencil. And just to give yourself a little bit of definition, and I just feel like it helps you stay inside the lines of your lips when you're putting lipstick on. So just a little bit. I'm finishing off the look with a little bit of pink lipstick. This is Bobbi Brown's Pink Sand, and I think it's just a really gorgeous nude that you're not going to have to commit to touching up all night long. And the fragrance that inspired this New Year's Eve and night out look, Yves Saint Laurent's Black Opium. It's a beautiful, rich, decadent, sweet fragrance that I think is perfect for a special New Year's Eve night out.